Hello, hello, it's me, I'm back, yay! I bet you're like, boo! <sighs> Where do I start? I'll tell you, I can't, I can't even start because there's too much to say. First and foremost, I'm sitting on the floor, well, I will sit on the floor, and you can see sort of my bathroom behind me. If I move just slightly, you can see me bog. That's why I've put my big head in the way so you can't see me bog. I ideally want to start sitting here because that's where my shabby is, you know, and it's looking rather gorge and it's a nice backdrop. However, uh, I need to get like a stool or something to look at bingos to put this side so it's um, the right eye, you know what I mean? Uh, don't worry about me here. You're like, what's she done? I've just scragged it back to be quite honest with you because I've probably got really time for that, you know what I mean? Sort of me here out. And all that malarkey. Um, I have been so, 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 so busy. But you already know that anyway. I'm going to put a video on after this one. A bit later of my flat. It's now finished. Um, a couple of little minor things need to be done. But other than that, it is pretty much finished. Um, what else was I going to say? Um... Let me glittery top. Look. Vintardo. Uh, I've got a vintage all for you today, but before I do get on with the vintage all, um, I just wanted to say that, um, yeah, so it's pretty much nearly finished now. I've got like, um, yeah, a couple of light little minor bits that I've got to do, but you know, nothing, you know, too dreadfully large. Um, but it has killed me. Um, if you're like Lisa, you're looking a bit worse for the old wear, which I mean, I really am. And I've put my makeup on today. I don't know what I've done. It's just what I'm saying. My brain's gone. I've put different colours on, and I look purple and then brown. I didn't really. I was like, what are you doing? Do you think, uh, I thought, do you think I've got time? I'll wipe it off and start again. I don't think so. So it had to be just left, didn't it? It had to be just left. I just have no choice. But um, yeah, so. I've had to change, obviously, my address over as well, um, with all my, you know, your bank details and your driving licence and your this and that and that and this and this and that. Um, and I've went into the doctors and they give me a form, so you've got to fill out the form, taking, you know, a form of identification uh, and, a, I don't know, a statement with your name on of some sort or a utility bill or your rental agreement or whatever you want to take in. But I'm just thinking, oh God, what I mean, I had, I did pay for Royal Mail three months free delivery. So hopefully if they do send me a letter, because my um, OCD clinic, um, oh, what is the name? Because there's like a lower, OC, a lower CBT. Oh, it's called a higher intensity course CBT. That's what they're giving me, which is for uh, people that are practically all like me, absolutely off their, you know, jolly rocker. I'm off my jolly rocker. I am. I ain't gonna sit and lie by. I'm nuts. Nuts of the days long. But anyway, I'm like, I hope they do, um, you know, ch uh, change it over quickly. And I'll, I'll hopefully the letter will still come in because, like I said, I did pay to get it redirected. They just stick a sticker on the like the letter with your old address and then you, you get it, you know. So I'm hoping because I'm waiting for that, all right? Okay. If you'll miss me anyway, if you missed me. Miss me, miss me, you're going to miss me when I'm gone. Uh, anyway, before I get into the Vintardo Hall, I've also been to the charity. Uh, you know, I'm going to Google this because it made me sit and think, right? Tell me, can you please tell me your thoughts on this in the comments section below? Right, so I went into this charity shop yesterday. So someone had obviously put, it in the charity shop, what I'm about to tell you, right? It was some, oh, like, I don't know, it looked like some sort of little machine. I don't know, it might not have been a shrink, so I weren't even picking that box up, but it read on the front, bed bug detector. My skin started to literally crawl. And then I thought, hang on a minute, does someone, does that mean that they could have put, They've put that item in the charity shop, which was a bed bug detect or something like that, or bed bug catch or something. But it had bed bugs written on it, right? So if they had bed bugs and they've put that in the charity shop, and they might have put some clothes in the charity shop, and the bed bugs 
some were alive and got in the clothes, does that mean that potentially anybody who buys from a charity shop could be bringing back to their house bed bugs? Does it work like that? Please, someone tell me that. I, 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 please. Please, someone tell, them, tell me that I, I'm definitely wrong and that they can only live in a bed. Because otherwise, you won't get to see no more of your girl. Because how many charity shops... I, I, I won't want to keep doing charity shops because I'm going to think, what if there's the bed bugs in them? And it comes into my house and I've got the most severe OCD on the planet and then there's bed bugs in my bed and in my clothes. I would kill myself. I would because... How do you get even rid of bed bugs? <gasps> anyway, someone please, please put my mind at rest and say it doesn't work that way. I'm going to Google it though. I'm going to Google it. Oh God, please don't let it work that way. Please don't let it. Please, Lord, Lord, well, don't let it work that way. Anyhow, anywho, um, before I get on with the little Vintage run, I've got a huge bag here because there's quite a lot of stuff. But I'm only going to do some of it today and then I will do a charity shop. Then I'll do the rest of the vintage stuff. Uh, Oh, you schnoz her off. You know you're going to get the cops. Anyway, before I do, you know that time of day. You, sorry, you can see me bog again. It is clean, though. It's clean, all right? You know the time of day. Look at the shiny towels. You know the time of day. <laughs> anyway, you ready? You know that time of day. Why do ducks have feathers on their towels to cover their butt quacks? That's a good one, all right? That's a good one. What did the limestone say to the geologist? Don't take me for granite. <laughs> I quite like that one as well, my buddies. I mean, I should know. I'll do write them, write them down, you know. Why are basketball courts always wet? Because the players dribble. Boom! Right. I'm going to put my glasses on so I look a bit... Hang about, your girl's got to clean them. Do you know what I mean? Right, you know what else it is time for, don't you? Can you hear that wind? I'm high up, you see. I'm quite high up in the flats and top floor. It's ooh, we, we, whistling. Just whistle while you work. Anyway, you know what else it is time for? It's time for 1,227 facts to blow your socks off. Yep, it's that time of day. So this little section about to read you is about diamonds. Now diamonds, what are they? They're a girl's best friend. I'm getting really close, all right? So I can talk to you about diamonds. Well, diamonds, I can assure you, are my best friend. If someone feels, you know what? I want to give Lisa a Listen, you give me a diamond. I ain't going to decline, all right? Diamonds for me. All right? <laughs> anyway. Right, listen to this. Most diamonds, I'll have you know, are at least three billion years old. But you never knew that, did you? And you're going to be like, I really needed to know that. There are enough diamonds in existence to give everyone on the planet a cupful. Then don't be mean and tight-fisted. Give us a cupful of diamonds. If that's the case, why don't we all have a cupful of diamonds? Then we'll all be rich, right? All right. A burning candle creates 1.5 million tiny diamonds per second. Later, I'm out of here. I'm going to find me candles. I'm sitting. I'm How is that possibly true? Because if that was true, a burning candle creates 1.5 million tiny diamonds per second. So are they saying that diamond? Uh, are they saying that candles waxes diamonds? So what are they saying? I don't know. I don't know what they're saying. All I know is if that's the case, I'm going home bargains. I'm buying every candle in there, all right? All right, thank you. Uh, anyway, next one. Under extreme eye pressure, diamonds can be made from peanut butter. Where's my skippy? Where's my skippy? Uh, do you understand it? I don't understand it. I don't. I really don't. I don't understand that. How can... So under extreme pressure, extreme pressure what? Are you pressing the peanut butter down or are you burning it? What are you doing with it? 
but it can be made from peanut butter. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I mean, I, I, I've no words because I really don't know. If anyone could enlighten me, please do. Anyhow, I'm going to show you a few of my Vintardo bits now. So let me just put my hair over my shoulders so I can look a bit better, you know. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, firstly, I got this top and... Now listen, I haven't, I'm not going to remember any of these prices because they were gotten before I moved into my old new flat, you know what I mean? And I don't remember at the best of times, you know, the marbs are gone. So, the prices of all these, I cannot even begin to tell you, I haven't got a clue. So I can only show you the items, tell you where they're originally from and tell you the size. Okay, so this is originally from Pretty Little Thing. Not originally, it is from Pretty Little Thing, but obviously I've got it from Vinted. And it's a size 20, and it is a corset. It's a corset top, like so. Uh, it's got puffy sleeves, and it's got these like little um, balloon arms, which I like, with a cuff there. And then there's like a zip at the back to go up. So, very wench style, isn't it? Remember like back in the old days, like when you was a wench? Hey, wench, bring me my drink. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. So that's the first thing I got. It was something pound. But you know, I can't tell you. I can't because I don't know. Uh, next thing is from Boo and it's also a size 20. I don't know why I'm wearing 20s. You know I'm only a size 8. <laughs> anyway, I've got a black one of these and it's stunning. So I got this white. It's a peplum, like lace. Look, see why I'm doing that? So sophis. It's a peplum at the bottom and it's lace. Like a lacy type of material and it's all see-through. And it gorgeous. Oh, the bingo's around, sorry. And I've got Perry Pits. Me pits, me me underarms, and I hate to say it, the nethers, all right? Need a good old shave. And I mean a good old shave. They've not been shaved for, for a while. I reckon there's lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, down there. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. <laughs> and under me pits, I don't know. Could, it's like a bit bushy. I could grow my own shrubs and stuff. <laughs> so if you can see any hairs, you know, give me a break. I've been cleaning this flat from top to bottom. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So I've not had time to shave. But I will. I'll be. Yeah, so that's the next thing, um, as I say, th which is this, and I absolutely love it. Uh, and then I bought this, but I'm going to have to put it onto good old Vintardo because I'm gutted. I absolutely love it. It's originally George at Asda, and it's like a. I actually did buy one of these from another YouTuber. Um, she was selling a few bits on uh, Vinted, and I sort of bought. Well, similar one in cream. Um, but I love these type of things. But unfortunately, this one has got no stretch in it. Now, I do think it's a 20. Hang on, let me check. But let me tell you. Let me tell you. It is a 20. It won't go over the bucket. It won't. It was so skin tight. I was like that, doing the robotics. I was like, nah. So that's no good. Um, but it's a shame because that was, like I say, brand new and I absolutely love it. So that's going to go on Vinted. But, yeah, back on Vinted rather. I really like that. I'm really gutted about that. <laughs> I probably needed a 24, I reckon. They come up really small. Uh, anyway, next thing. Someone was selling uh, these shirts. I've got three different colours. I don't know where they all are in this bag. So if I don't get to show you all the colours, then I'll show you the next one. But if you've been watching Married at First Sight, uh, Adam had one of these on. I've actually got the same colour he had on. Not that I'm a geezer or anything, but, uh, well, you know, if I want to be androgynous, is that the word? Then I will. Um, but these are lady shirts, but I just love the colour. Um, and like I say, she was selling three of them, and it was silly money, something like three fifty, four quid, something like that. Uh, that's a size 20 as well and it's like what is this like paisley is that what it's called is it oh, i thought it had a line on for a minute i'm seeing things so paisley shirt and it's like a satin material and there we go goes up 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 like that yeah i like that i like that i'll do so i've got that hang on 
you know what I mean? You know what I need to do, just stretch out the old leg and all that. Anyway, I thought, do you know what? The sexy beast that I am, all right? I thought, I'm going to get... I couldn't go wrong, could I? My God. Right, so I've got myself a bikini. I don't know who I think I am or where I think I'm going in this bright, luminous size 20 yellow bikini. Now it's high-waisted. Look, look, don't think, oh, my God, is she that wide from there to there? It makes it look bigger on there, all right? Look at the size of them. I've, I've already said this before. Whoever made up the termination smalls for your underwear, they, they weren't looking at mine, all right? So there's some... Someone's fan has been in there, I reckon. But she said it was new. Do you believe her? Oh, no, it looks pretty. It looks like it is new. <sighs> the fan, do you know what I mean? Because I know what my fan is like, and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Hmm. But, however, this is twisted, so I reckon it could be Fibaru. Oh, no, it's not. I'm lying. Right, so there you go. So there's the very luminous bottoms in this sort of material. And what I was really pleased at when I see it is because I've got really small boobs. You know, I told you I've got bee stings. And uh, that is just about the right size to fit the little ones in. And I tell you what, I'm going to look hot in it. I don't care. Listen, I am going to be wearing that, right, in bar with my new man, right, <laughs> when I meet him. No, I'm joking. But I'm going to be wearing this, yeah. Put it right up so the fat hangs out the side, you know, where your rips off. The fat hangs out. Yeah, the gardener's out there. Oh, it's beautiful, Randy, I tell you. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm going to wear that where the fat hangs out the sides. Do you know what I mean? Put it right up, just, just under there. Oh, I'm going to look sexy, I tell you. Right, so that's that. Uh, and then I ordered these. Because I used to wear them back in the 90s. Now, I know what you're going to think. You're going to say, Lise... You're going through a midlife crisis, possibly. Lise, what are you doing? I don't know. Uh, do you actually think this is going to look nice on you? I'm hoping so. There's questions to be answered, all right? And until I start to wear them, I can't answer them questions. But this lady was selling all these bandanas for three quid. I was like, I'm having them. Now, I, don't, I can't put them on my head because I don't know if they've been washed. I've got to wash them. But, you know... Put it around the front there. Right. You wouldn't do it like that, really. You know. Well, listen, you're going to be seeing me with these bandanas on anytime soon. So I've got an orange one. All right. I thought I did. I've got a blue one. Then I got a yellow one. <laughs> a red one so they've got to be washed but yeah i'm telling you, you're gonna start seeing me in bandanas i'm not even joking with you I'm telling the truth uh anyway then i got oh yeah this is nice oh hang on no i can't find that one then i got this this is a wrap over and it is originally again from boohoo size 20 and it's like a peplumy wrap over, if you see what I mean. It's got like the, these lovely sleeves, like what are they called? Balloon short sleeves. I don't know. Balloon short sleeves, like so. And then it's obviously like that at the back. And then you, you wrap it inside and pull it round. And yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. 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 You like my dance? Gorgeous. Now, I don't know if I told you, but you know I've had this trouble with my arm. I need to go to the old doctors because I can't even lift it at the night time. I can barely... Like, as I'm doing that, I seem... Well, no, that's a lie. It's hurting a little bit, but not too bad. But I get in bed at the night time, so it gets worse of the night. And I don't know... Does anyone know what it could be? And now it's shifted over to this arm as well. It's all, right, this area from here, just all in here, all inside, all right? And from here as well. Just them areas. So what, uh, there's no muscles, be there is muscles behind there, but what could it possibly be? 
because I have osteoarthritis, which is the bones. So I'm wondering, could that be like a rheumatoid arthritis? But does it come in your muscles? I don't know. But like I say, to lift my arm, like it's not too bad. When I can feel it, that's a lie, because it does hurt, but not terribly. But when I get in that bed, and points the bed because the bed's there, that's where the, my camera is, the pain I'm in all night long, I toss, I turn, and if I lay on it, it oh my God. And then it feels like it's numb. So what I'm having to do as well a lot of the time, it hurts so much I can't lift it itself, so I'm having to use this arm to, to like lift it like that. I keep lifting my own arm up with this arm. Does anyone know what it could possibly be? Anyway, that's another thing. I've got to go to doctors for that as well. I am sick to death. I mean it. Sick to death of my mental health and my bloody osteoarthritis and my liver and my diabetes and my blood pressure and all my problems. It really, really Fs me off. All right, I'm I'm swearing. I know I don't try. I mean, I do swear. If you see me on a normal day to day when I'm doing things, it goes wrong. He'd be like, "Oh, math is foul, foul, foul." <laughs> it's like yours. You go like, "Oh, math's foul. It's foul." It is if I get uh, if I get angry. I will turn to the old kick of cups. But um, yeah, no, I don't know. Anyhow, anywho, then I see this gorgeous play suit. No, not even a play suit. It's a jumpsuit, all in one, and it's a size 22. And that's also from Boohoo. What a gorgeous colour. So it's spardo, comes off the shoulders, yeah, like so. so now it's brand new, never been worn with the tags. So you've got like these two little bits there. And then your arm goes like through there. So it hangs off the shoulders type thing. If that makes any sense to you. And then, um, yeah, so it's like that. And it's got big baggy. Look, big baggy. I love, I love how flary the bottoms are. Look, look how flary they are. They're massive. But do you know what? I'm looking at it. And even though it says it's a 22, I ain't sure the bucket's going in there. I mean, it looks big on there, doesn't it? But I don't know. I mean, I reckon I've... It has got a tie to go around the waist as well. I reckon I've lost a lot of weight, but then again, I've been sweating like nobody's business. I mean, when you're... Listen, let me tell you. When I come in here to clean, it, there wasn't... What's this word they say? No stone unturned? Well, there wasn't. I cleaned... <sighs> Let's just say there's probably places that you might see in a house or a flat and you're like, well, I didn't even know they existed. I didn't even see them. I find them and I clean them. So I even clean the walls. Like there was a couple of scuffs on the walls. I saw a couple of scuffs. There were scuffs on every wall. Um, so I've cleaned all the, I, I cleaned the walls from top to bottom. I cleaned the ceilings. Um, I and. I cleaned obviously all the skirtings, the toilets, the bathrooms, the sinks, bleached a zillion, billion, zacalillion times um, until it is to my, uh, what's the word, my, my OCD standards. Uh, unless you can see your face in my sinks, I'm not happy. But they, at the end of the day, that isn't to say that if someone else doesn't do it, I, I wouldn't judge anyone. That's, that's up to you how you are and what you do. I probably wouldn't be this way if my brain didn't make me be this way if you get what i mean i don't like to be this way sometimes because it overalls your life you imagine trying to get out the door and it takes you 45 minutes to an hour just to get out the door all right it's no fun and i don't wish it on anyone so I, you might think oh she makes a uh, joke and and she does a laugh but yeah i do and i have to but if uh, if it, if you really see me on a day-to-day -day basis, and like I say, oh, I'll put on a brave face. This is like my alter ego, as they say, like Gemma Collins as the GC. I mean, you know, I suppose in a way this is an alter ego. I don't know, because while I'm doing this, I can sort of, I can vent to you lot, as well as, like, I can, when I'm showing you things, I can take my mind off what usually goes on in my mind, so... Anyhow, anywho, as they say, I'm just a bit of glass. I didn't go. Sorry for one of my cold coffees. After this, I'm going to have one, I tell you. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you uh, one more thing from this bag. 
uh, and it is this. Now, like I've always said to you, you know, I mean, we have this. Actually, no, I'm going to show you two new things. So I'm feeling Jen, all right? Jen is generous. So I'm going to show you two new things. And the others can be for another haul, all right? Um, so, you know, I will say, I don't know who I think I am or where I think I'm going, all right? But... I see this, and I remember this was three pounds. So I thought it was good for three pounds. It is a red. <laughs> now listen, I could always wear it Halloween. I could be a little devil or something. Okay, it is a red PVC corset. I don't know who I think I am. How old I think I am? It's definitely where I think I'm going. But I also got. I don't know if you remember seeing it. I did a do a haul, and I showed you a red long. Gemma Collins is back in one of my other videos so if you haven't seen it have a look at a few of my videos back and you'll see it I've got like a long red um see-through type dressing gown thing with like red big fur uh cuffs and it had fur all the way down it and I thought that with some red boots yeah and some red leggings or something would look really good for Halloween like, if you're going out Halloween or, you know, wherever. Uh, yeah, don't you? It's got a zip at the back. And it will fix. It's got a bit of stretch anyway. Actually, I don't like it if it's too stretch. I've got a weird body. The bucket, yeah, you know what the bucket's like. But really, from there to there and that, I'm not too, too bad. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've got that. Oh, I do like it, though. I had to wash that. And wash facility in the washing machine, I suppose. Anyway, last thing I'm going to show you today. It was originally £14. It's a size 20 from Papaya. Papaya, which I believe is good old mats. Mats for Matalan. But when I see it, I loved it because I loved... Do, 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 do. That's Dynasty soundtrack, by the way, back in the 80s. I used to love Dynasty in Dallas. Anything with shoulder pads in, and I love it. And it's quite floaty, and I thought that would be lovely for the summer with a pair of leggings. I'll say a pair of leggings or skirt. I only wear leggings. Um, if I'm going out somewhere, I will put a skirt on, but I mainly do just wear uh, leggings because they're comfy. I have got some jeggings and, like, stretchy jeans. I just can't. Yeah, I just can't really get on with them. Um, and I always end up, I don't know what it is. You know, like, like the, we have a whole velour tracksuit bottoms. I end up chewing cloth, I tell you. Me nevers at the front chew them all up and then they start rising up. <laughs> I remember one time. <laughs> Sorry, Tam, if you're, <laughs> if you're watching this. My sister, right? <laughs> she had this red velour tracksuit. Anyway, she's coming, walking towards me. And you know they talk about camel toe, having a camel toe. She had a whole hoof going on. Uh, <coughs> uh, velour tracksuit bottoms. They'd literally been swallowed up the fange, yeah? Swallowed up the fange. As I said, she didn't just have a camel toe. She had a whole hoof going on. And... Where they'd like ridden up, I mean, I didn't see the the bum behind. They probably would probably gone up there and all literally, but they'd become ankle swingers. So instead of them like being like sort of touching top of her foot, they'd ridden up to pass their ankles. I said that ain't a good look, and I swear she threw them. She threw them in the bin. I said you can't, you can't wear them. I said I've seen camel camel toe had nothing on what she had going on. I tell you. I reckon she could have done some beatboxing with them lips. <laughs> Excuse my filthiness. Anyway, so this is the last thing that I got. Like I say, so it's a short, put your arms through there and there's no sleeves. Oh, it's, oh, is there? No, there isn't. Sorry. It's more like a, like a cape thing. So, yeah, so that's uh, my, um, that's my haul for the day. And before I do go, uh, I wanted to say, um, now I don't know if anybody see Britain's Got Talent. Now, I didn't watch all of it. I've got to be honest. I didn't watch all of it. Um, and Callie had been watching all of it. Because um, like I said, I mean, I've, I've been being busy and stuff. And actually, we only got the internet 
put on today and they come on today I was like freaking hell was it been here since last Wednesday like officially I did get the keys a few days before because I could cause I'd come in and clean and that um but uh yeah so Kelly was, has been watching it but anyway I don't know who's been watching it now listen the guy who won again like I say this is just my opinion all right it's just my opinion he kind of reminds me of if anyone knew this man from the 80s called Charlie Chook. If you look at Google Charlie Chook, he had this really funny hair. And I think this Vigo, is that his name? He may have took an inspiration of the hair from Charlie Chook. I don't know. But anyway, what he did, he put on a high vis or lots of high vises and he took the high vises off and he threw them and jumped around a little bit. And okay. Now... I have been, uh, like on YouTube, I've been seeing comments underneath his uh, performance and stuff. And I've got to be honest, um, everybody is saying this is, is exactly what we need after what's gone on with COVID and blah, blah, blah. He's fun, he's this, he's that, blah, 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 blah. Now, I am not taking away that he, I mean, he did make me chuckle. I did have a few laughs, but it's called Britain's Got Talent. You're winning £250,000, yeah, and you're going to be performing in front of the royal family, right? Do you think that going on and playing one more time, that's the song he was playing, one more night we're going to celebrate, oh yeah, that's the song, and then he takes off his, um, oh, his high visits, right? Anyone, you, me, all in sundry can do that. It, to me, it's not talent. There was a young magician called Killian, I think, and he was ever so good. I think he was 14 and he was really good. Then there was a, another young boy who sung and uh, uh, quite a way back, and he's not ever seems to have got past certain stages of it, all these competitions he's been in before, is Tom. His name's Tom. Oh, Tom... Tom something, he is phenomenal, I mean phenomenal singer, also there was another guy, and I'm sure he sung This Is A Man's World by James Brown, phenomenal, and again, he was, didn't seem to be in the, I did watch the last one, because Harry's like, I want to watch it, he didn't seem to be in the last one, so he must have been booted out before that, I'm presuming, but you have all these people that truly how uh, oh there was even some really good dancers that really truly have good talent and they get outed out and you know you get someone throwing a high vis off and they just they I just don't get it anyway like I say me personally I that's why people said to me sometimes you should go on the X Factor you should go I was asked to go on the Voice and I never went and. I ain't saying I've got the best voice in the world. No, I'm not. But I can assure you that I'm better than some of these that are on there that do end up getting through. And I just think, no, I'm 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 not up for that. Um, so that's another reason why I would never ever do anything like well, I sound never ever. I mean, never no ones. I might change my mind, but um, for now, I think no, nah, that's that's not the kind of thing I'd want to do. Um, but anyway, what I was thinking, yeah, is I'm thinking, if he can do it, all right, so can I. Not not for me singing, though. Oh, no, no. So I thought, I may, all right, because I said I'll never go on Britain's Got Talent or The Voice or anything like that for me singing. But I'm thinking I might go on it, all right, as a magician, all right? Now, you tell me if you think I'll get through, Okay. So I'm going to do my audition for you. Hi, Simon. I'm Lisa. And I'm 25. And I'm size 10. And I'm a magician. <laughs> all right, this is my audition. All right. Okay, Lisa, I would like to see what you're doing. Say, so, yes, okay, Simon. And Alicia, and the man, son. Bruno, Tony only. So you see this bit of paper, all right? this I'm gonna make it disappear oh my god oh my god look up there what is that there you go look at that now I'll tell you if I don't get through 
it's a fix. Because how many people do you know that just like that, off the bat, yeah, can make a bit of paper just, you know, disappear? And I'll tell you something, I've got to talk quite loudly for a minute, because I don't know if some noise was going on. I can actually make it reappear as well. Abracadabra, alakazam. Oh, look, have you seen that spider on the top of the screen? Over there. There it is, look. And now, as quick as it went, I got it back. Now, what do you reckon? Do you think I'd be good? Do you? You try doing a magic trick like that, I tell you. Anyhow, listen. Um, oh, I've had such fun talking to you all today because uh, I feel like I've not sat and done a video in yours. Um, in ages and ages and ages and ages so yeah I've uh, been a bit brain dead a bit OCD'd out you know so as I always say oh you the asthma one minute sorry one minute one minute I'm coming out of the I'm coming out <sighs> oh Wheezy Winston so as I say, you know, if you do like this kind of thing, if you do, you know, enjoy my videos and stuff, you know, my hauls and that. Oh, and something else I did have to laugh. I, you know, I've, I always have you guys who send me the most beautiful comments all the time. All right. Beautiful comments. And you're always asking about me and you're always asking about Callie and saying always such really gorgeous, lovely things. Yeah. And I've only had, uh, up till now, I'd only had one troll. And I can't remember what that person said, but obviously it was a lot, way, way back and I blocked it. Well, I put on um, a little uh, short on, was it yesterday before? And um, it was just something I found on Snapchat. I was just mucking around. I thought, oh, I'll just put that on. And someone has put underneath a transvestite. Oh, so anyway, I got rid of the comment. I thought, oh, I won't leave it on there. But I do have to laugh because I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I find, do you know what? I think, in fact, I'll take that as a compliment because, you know, in fact, this is not the first time I remember years ago, everyone used to say, look, Pamela Anderson. I was slim and blonde and... Oh, I'll show you some pictures and you'll be like, is that you? I'll be like, yeah, you're saying, you're sure going to say to me as well, oh, I thought it was Pam Anderson. But I remember one time I was walking down through Soho. This was, oh my God, so many years ago. I was like probably 19, 20. I was even younger than Callie. And I had on like a boo, a, a, boo, a blue, um, oh, what is it? Baby blue plastic jacket with like the skirt to match and I had my long blonde hair and uh, I was walking through Soho and my sister was with me and I think my other friend Tasha she was with me as well and this transvestite obviously he was a man dressed up as a woman and he come walking towards me oh and he was so angry and I thought why are you being so he went oh my god you Pamela Anderson wannabe I was like Okay. <laughs> but anyway, someone thought I looked like a transvestite. But you know what? I'll take that on my chin. Actually, I'll take it on my second chin. Um, because I think some of them... I mean, have you seen some of these lady boys? All right. Okay, I'll leave it there. But anyway, so like I say, um, if you do like this kind of thing, please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe. Please click your notification bell. If you do watch me... Um, and you've not yet subscribed to me, please do, because um, I think I'm up to about 433, and I do want to get to 500. When I get to 500, I'm going to do another giveaway. Um, um, I've got some jewellery to give away. I remember that sculptor for your old face. I've got that. I'm going to give that away as well. I've got a few bits and bobs to give away. Um, and, yeah, so all I've got to say to you is have a lovely day. Today is Wednesday. I will... I've took the video already, but either tonight or tomorrow, I will put on the video of the flat. Uh, 
yeah, which I've taken. Now everything's in and done. Like I say, it's pretty much finished. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Have a lovely Wednesday. Ciao!